So let's get started. First of all, you go to dmm.com to register an account. You can pick either English or Japanese for this. So I'll pick English as it's just easier. So under the login tab, click user registration. Now fill in the details. This email address and password is what you are going to use on this site. So just make sure you remember them. You can only use 16 character passwords on it, which is a bit annoying, but oh well. Then press transmit the certification email. Now you just want to confirm that email. Okay, after you clicked on the link from the email, you should arrive on this page. Click on the login now button. This should put you on the main site again. Switch to the, to the Japanese language by clicking this button here. You should also be logged in. If you are not, then please log in. Now we need an extension for Chrome to proceed, and the extension can be found on this URL, which will be in the description of the video. So open a new site, go to this URL, download the zip, and save it somewhere. Okay, now that it's done, you have to load it into Chrome. For that, you need to uh, unzip this. So extract here. Check that this contains the dmm.js file. OK, it does. Now open Chrome again. Go into Settings, Extensions. Tick Developer Mode here. Load Unpacked Extension and click on the dmm master folder that you unzipped earlier click ok this should add a dmm version 0.0.1 and it should be enabled if this is done then everything should be fine with the extension and now you can close this and this as well and everything should be okay here so reload just in case And now you can uh, go directly to the game URL, which is this one. This will also be in the description of the video. And it should open the game page. If you can see this red button, then this means everything so far has been successful. So now you just want to click the red button. And this is a character registration, essentially. So this is a username here. This is gender, male, female. Neither of them matter. This is date of birth. And then press the yellow button, which is a confirmation. that It appears that this can only be 12 characters long. So let's shorten it. Okay, and now press the yellow button again. I don't actually know if you need to have that information for anything. Now press the yellow button, which says uh, something about the game. And now you get into the actual game or server select, I guess. Oh yeah, I forgot you need to set your time zone to Japan. which is required to do the server selection otherwise you will get a cat they call it cat bomb osaka sapporo tokyo this should be fine click ok and ok now select the server the last one was the only one that worked and now the game is loading If you can... If this loads, then everything worked correctly and registration worked fine. Yep. 
uh, now this is the actual username you will be using in the game so let's go with this now you're going to pick your uh, first first ship really it doesn't matter go with anything you like because they are all really easy to get and the stats make no real difference this is the tutorial, but since you probably can't understand Japanese, it doesn't matter. So just click next, next, next. And once you get this place, you have successfully registered to the game and everything should work now. Now, the thing is that the game is all in Japanese, so it's probably not the best idea to play like this. There are some useful tools to make it a little easier to play. So, essentially you just want that one. It's called uh, Kankola Viewer. So, let's just download it. The link will also be in the description of the video. Go to this address and download this one. Can't call a viewer pre.zip. Save it somewhere. Now unpack this one. Extract to folder. Okay, and this is the game folder. But you need to do one thing first. You need something called an API link. Which is uh, essentially uh, an address of the game that is a direct link to your actual game. That is, you don't need to start uh, going through this kind of a complicated process. Okay, so to use the Kankola Viewer, you need to actually find your API link. For that, you need to click somewhere around this flash window. Right click on it and select inspect element. If it doesn't work, you have to press F12 and open the elements tab yourself. And then try to find uh, this kind of um, part of the page. It's, it essentially has to be a game iframe. If it's this page, if it's another page, this might be the entire page. So in the body style, you Expand it, and now you can find flash wrap in here. Expand this one, and this is the API link here, this source. Do not show your API link to anyone. I will be blocking out some of the API link, because this is a direct link to the game. If I wrote this into my URL bar, I will be able to get into the game right away. So, copy this. Uh, paste it into notepad. I will paste it into notepad++. And now you can easily take the actual API link here. Copy this API link. And now you can close your browser. And you can run Kankola Viewer now for the first time. Paste your API link here and press enter. This one helps the game helps you play the game quite a lot. Thanks for watching.